so us being filthy copycats <laughs> unoriginal in every way i mean that's how that's how we find about out about weird stuff is vinny right that that's yeah. his that's kind of his thing is to just spread it to everyone else vinny knows about all the weird well cuz people send it to him he's yeah. popular and so they they get him to he's the information broker for weird fucking games uh, so here we are with a weird fucking not even a game it's just a thing it's a website so yeah this and is... functionally it's it's a fan fiction generator. Talk to Transformer. That's the what it's called. It, it's a modern neural network that completes your text. It does. And it's better than I would have expected? I played around with it a couple times. It's uh it's very interesting. I watched I watched the stream of it. There there was some uh, there was some good stuff that came out. Or at least stuff that would believably be written by some people. Alright. Uh so See how a modern neural network completes your text. Type a custom snippet or try one of the examples. All right, let's type a custom snippet. What do you? Uh, about. I don't know. I don't know where it says it. I, I remember there being a line that warning they this could output like gross sexual or, or or profanity and shit. Okay. There are no censors. Sure, I'm down with that. Uh. Packing we... up for trip to Mars. Unicorns, Unicorns that, that speak, speak English. English. Lord of the Rings. Asteroid to collide with Earth. Okay, so I guess it just loads up demos. But yeah. obviously we're going to be typing our own stuff in. Yep. So we're just we're going to fuck around for, with this for a bit, and then we're going to do some Smash afterwards. Ah! Uh. Pikachu thinks Mew is cheating at poker. Because of our uh, our Pokemon's yeah, that's on the back I, wall. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Do we put anything else in? Uh, th th little does he know that Psyduck is actually cheating at poker. Yes, <laughs> actually cheating at poker. All right, what do we got? All right. I feel like this is an opportunity for us and our dumb voices. <laughs> So I'm, I want to try. It. <laughs> I'm just, I just it's thought. struggling. <laughs> All right, zoom down. Uh, we gotta scroll down a little bit. Generate another. Oh, okay. When he there catches it is. their prank, <laughs> the prank. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's what it be called. Pikachu and his fellow Pokemon, Team Galactic. <laughs> <laughs> they become Pokemon now. Okay. <laughs> the attempts to get off safely. <laughs> Only to find that Psyduck stole their game pieces. Yeah. Oh, the chips! Uh, once they're able to get to the entrance and beat its leader with a ball. What? Just, like, physically beat the shit out of him with a Pokeball. <laughs> at the entrance of what? The bathroom? Uh, Pikachu then has a ball thrown at Mew. But it's intercepted by Pokemon Rocket! Oh no, not Pokemon Rocket! <laughs> it's Team Rocket, except it's just Pokemon. Yeah. After making Mew throw its ball, he tosses Rocket their ball back. Pikachu calls for the team, and a large ball is rolled onto the stage by a rocket. Throwing the rocket out of the park. We're on a stage in a park now. <laughs> There are balls everywhere. <laughs> this, it, it was like originally a theater scene, and then things got really fucking wild. Yeah. Uh, the rocket then falls over and goes into a rage. As it does. Pikachu is then forced to send in his Pokemon, who, who then, then steal steals all their balls. <laughs> all the balls. The Pokemon rocket takes advantage of is sent in by an Arbok. As they go, the Pokemon rocket is taken... To find its leader's egg. The. The. It just kind of cuts off sometimes. Uh, like, I think because the examples, uh, they, uh, they. They're, they're they, like sampled they're, from they're around the internet, well, right? Well, they're on, uh, they're unfinished sentences. Yeah. So I guess it doesn't, it, it caps off at a certain word amount to like prevent it from going on forever. Maybe. I wish, I wish there were options to like increase like the text size. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Or at least make it so that, like, it cuts off at a, at a period or something. Yeah. Would be nice. Oh, well, you know. Uh, so that, uh, what do we title that story? That's our demo. Uh, uh, po Pokemon Rockets Ballpalooza. 
Maybe Rocket's the name of a Pokemon. It's not like an actual poke. Like you know, I'm honestly surprised we don't have like a NASA rocket shaped Pokemon yet. Isn't that what that fucking Mega Beast from Sun Moon was? I get you're right. Yeah, we do have a Rocket Pokemon. Yeah, Shut it's my a mouth. combination of that and uh... it's like just a steel golem rocket. Yeah, the biggest one. It, it can set forests on fire. Uh. All right, you're up. I'll a never be. I'll uh, ne oh, okay. He gazed into the pit longingly. <laughs> I'll never be in Smash, <laughs> Waluigi lamented. He gazed into the pit longingly. I have lost. I, I have, have lost. lost. As he saw his friend. Okay, you're reading. <laughs> Sorry, you go ahead. I apologize. I, I feel like we were. Ta I thought we were taking turns. Is all. My apologies. Go on. I don't know. It's still generating. It's ha it's having some trouble now. <laughs> Fuck! How do we write about Waluigi? Quick, just make something up. <laughs> uh, Brazilian fart porn. Scribble, 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 scribble. Huh. Oh, this is dumb. Is it it's just, it just, it, it it's got nothing for All Waluigi. Right. I think you can cancel it by just clicking on it again. Oh, oh. <laughs> Waluigi sighed in dismay as he saw his friend's face. All this, this is mine. I have it all. Oh, you can restart it if you, if you want. Uh, that try to fair. give it another shot. The words of doom still echoed in his ears. Waluigi tried to move out of the way, but his arm could not grasp the ledge. At this exact moment, a blue beam descended from the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why he's not in Smash. <laughs> the blue beam threw him into a pit. It was fucking taboo eradicated him. I... <laughs> well... It's, just, it's got nothing. Just, I, we, we've had, like, problems with our internet on the weekends, but not not for this. This can't be taken that much I don't data. think this is an internet problem. Do you think there are a lot of people on this site right now? Uh, maybe. I was having problems with it. Like, Let's I, see what it, it... Descended from the ceiling and punched through the pit. In the center of this beam was Waluigi, standing <laughs> on top of... He went back in time to stop himself from being in Smash. <laughs> Clearly. Alright, uh... Uh, we just, uh, we just spitball, I guess. Young Link never thought he would know joy again. Then he discovered the VHS tapes of Bob Ross, Joy of Painting. Bob Ross. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it was a great gift. A chance to relive Bob's style of painting and to share his... Oh, fuck's sake. Maybe, try uh, maybe, maybe you can try actual... the site. Yeah. Just I was gonna it. say that or I could try Chrome. <laughs> You're not on Chrome. No, this is the this is the OBS. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know OBS do, did web access. Well, it's, yeah, it has like a, a browser screen that we can use. That uh, It's the easiest to record a browser. Yeah, but... Uh... Unfortunately, he seems to be messing with the site. Maybe. You try it on Chrome, yeah. <laughs> I did it. Oh, did it, did it. Okay. Try reloading that. Try that again. Oh, you didn't see. Oh, no, I didn't, I didn't copy the thing. Young Link never thought he would know joy again. Until he discovered the old VHS tapes of Bob Ross, Joy of Painting. This is a good... <laughs> it's not even doing it now. Oh, wow. I, yeah, I think it's OBS. I, I, let's... Well, hopefully. Hopefully it'll work in an actual browser. 
I'm gonna have to. That's gonna be more work for me to set up, is all. I apologize for that. I didn't. Uh, we 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 had no way of knowing. We had no way. Of... Sorry. Give us a moment to set up Chrome. Right, again, assuming this works. Oh, it's generating now. Just took you long enough. Just because we're clicking in the window because we have Chrome open. Oh shit! You're gonna replace me. I better do my fucking job. I guess we'll just leave Chrome open, unless we need to like swap over again. It's still going. He discovered joy, and then he was able to move his legs with his legs. <laughs> what? And get all the limbs in the world. Then his legs moved again, and he then he knew he could do anything. He could walk all over that castle. Now, you can feel the joy of life, and all you need is a tape that doesn't stop at just getting the ball in your hand. I wish there was a tape that was so simple to use that you could use to, it to get your happy thoughts, emotions, or thoughts that don't involve the goal of something. Then move it! <laughs> it's got it all! You've got to be able to keep your emotions in your mind without having to think about something that might be bad or bad for the world, which is what you need with joy! You're happy to live! This is one of fitting examples of today's broadcast of how this system doesn't need the... Doesn't need what? Don't keep us in suspense! Tune in next time. Alright. <laughs> You're up. <laughs> when it works, it, it's just like... Okay, let's, uh, let's turn the lights down low. Oh, Link. I didn't see you come in. <laughs> oh, it's Said sexually. Mind said no, but his body said yes. <laughs> Great. Oh, gosh. Small the blue. small blue flame shot up into the sky just above it. And that, and that was, was it. it. One spark or a quick tiny explosion was enough. No one had noticed anything. And so it was that the link to the past ended. We knew everything, but there were so many more secrets awaiting us. And what happened in between the games? The game is now. The, the game! game. <laughs> I am the game! You don't want to play me? It was like leaving. It was like leaving the earth that I was part of for such a long time. I felt like a child. Like the end was approaching and then the beginning. My friends began to came back, come back from the adventure and the games never stopped. They played each game they had and while most of them were really fun, a few got a little too much. As I read about the last game I was in, I started to wonder what came after. <laughs> so it went from like him seducing Link and then a blue flame shot up. The game was over again. It was like, that's fun. I wonder what game I'm going to invade next. They're just all, they're all having games with each other. Games. But fun. they were a little too much, these games. Oh, Link. Uh. Uh. Anything come to mind? Quote. Yeah. Shadow the Hedgehog pissed on my fucking wife, Eggman shouted angrily. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Shout out to the, the video game dubs. <laughs> you watched that then, huh? No, you, you've mentioned them, though. Yeah, the... <laughs> That's else? right, he took out his little quill dick and he pissed all over my fucking wife. Alright. <laughs> and he said his dick was this big. And I said that's disgusting. What? what? She asked quietly. That's not real. This is what he does from time to time. Yeah, we need to talk. I can't take it seriously. Yahweh! What? We're on the roof of a castle, sir. And a hedge jumped out of some kind of cave and attacked me. It was a hedgehog. But the creature that had it had some kind of glowing red hair. Yeah, that sounds like Shadow. 
She was now completely entranced. Her eyes flew to his chest, and she almost immediately started to kiss his cheek. Who's? You got it, Sonny! <laughs> she screamed happily. You don't need a kiss in here. Go back to your kingdom and please take care of your shit. I want to take care of my shit too, please. Then Eggman let go and she screamed into his collarbone. She immediately began to run. Screaming, <laughs> you're too slow. <laughs> that seems like it should have been more along the lines of what the last one should have given us. Yeah. <laughs> well, we had to... Okay, so the sexy overtones doesn't do it for the AI generator. You gotta be explicit as fuck. Dick pissed on my wife. Then, then, then you get, then you get fun times. Dick pissed on my wife. <laughs> she just drops the word, the name of God for no fucking reason. Just the the e way thing. No way. <laughs> yeah. Also, a final boss in uh, in a Shin Megami Tensei game. Oh, okay. Which one? Uh, all of them. I, I or I think uh, four. Uh, Apocalypse. This is so fucking brutal, I think. I got... This is so fucking brutal, I think I got cancer. I don't know, what would Nathan say? Uh... <laughs> I, maybe he'd say that. Maybe type in explosion at the end of Nathan to see if it generates more Death Clock exclusive content. Maybe. <laughs> Shouted murder face. All right. So it works when you click. It seems like. Uh yeah, it seems to be. Uh, did. Uh. A lot of... Yeah, we don't know who's talking. A lot of times you think nothing of it until they beat you over the head with it. This year it was the same thing. His teeth clicked and a wave of raw fury flooded over Nathan. Uh. And you thought I was gonna turn into you? Well, now you're not gonna get the chance oh. until the end. Oh. <laughs> Are they fucking antagonists in this fic? Murderface didn't react and just started to drag Nathan around. Now you're gonna turn back into an ungrateful bitch! <laughs> Murderface called out to Nathan, who responded with a scream and a cry as Murderface dropped Nathan and shoved him out through the wall. <laughs> I told you before! What the fuck's gonna happen to me if I don't do what's asked of me and then fuck your bitch ass? <laughs> Nathan was knocked back again, and this time he heard someone screaming. Himself. <laughs> <laughs> so this one is like a final fight scene. <laughs> Nathan v. Murderface, the falling out. This is him just, as he, he said that line, the initial line he typed in, as he's like on the ground just bleeding out. <laughs> just, just, just like, I, I was so fucking brutal on Murderface. He's like, God damn it, Nathan. It's always about being brutal! What about me? <laughs> that, was, that was a good one. That was pretty good, honestly. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, what, are some, what are some other dumb voices we do? Uh, Sonic ones. Uh, Radical! Wait, 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 wait. Radical no, no, we, 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 can, we can do better than that. Uh, you're too, you're too I'm, I'm trying to think of the... No way! No way. You're too slow! Shito! So, like, sh shouted as he was running away from gun soldiers. It's the native hedgehog game. As he ran from the gun soldiers. All right, input, output. Let's go. What does gun stand for, by the way? Oh, uh, click all those squares with buses. It's, it's okay, I got this. I know buses. All right, where are the motorcycles? No way! You're too slow, Shito! Sonic, Sonic shouted in Sonic. his native hedgehog English as he ran from the GUN soldiers. Sonic fought back. As a ta tails, his speedster legs charged Sonic. Oh, they're 
Wait, Tails is leading gun against Sonic. Sonic fought back. <laughs> Psych again. Sonic jumps, trying to grab their swords. Oh, oh my. But who's so Sonic's and somebody else's swords? The speedster's power, however, made Tails' hair grow faster. <laughs> oh, no, he's going Super Saiyan. <laughs> Sonic tried to move up, but was not successful. Sonic tried to move up, but was not successful. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you really get the full meaning of that line, the full implications. He tried to move around them, but the speedsters were faster. Tails was faster. Oh, but no. But Sonic was able to catch up with them and grab their swords. Is, is, this, is this sexual? I don't know. <laughs> but his attack cut through the speedster shields. Sonic took spec, a step back and yelled, Shit, Sonic! <laughs> Hold your fire! <laughs> He's sword glowed with the W sound. <laughs> Can you describe the sound? Uh, it sounded W? <laughs> oh. I guess, is that what a Star Wars a lightsaber sound is like? <laughs> <laughs> As if the flames burned his soul and it was left frozen in front of him. Sonic tried to get away as the speedsters turned back toward him, but not a second too soon. The last speedster appeared again. You, you can't beat me, Sonic yelled. <laughs> okay, that, are the, would those would have been the season four Sonic X bad guys, the speedsters? Speed, Sam Speed turns heel and he recruits a bunch of people to become faster than Sonic because his obsession drives him. That's right, he's gone rogue. Oh man, that would be a great, that would be a great <laughs> plot line actually. Yeah. Alright, it's your turn. Well, he, he it would only last like a couple episodes, though. Because he turns heel fast, but then he reforms fast. <laughs> You're right! Yeah, we sent him to the prison for five years, but he reformed in like three days. He got, he got really good behavior. Really good! He helped all the other prisoners reform. He, uh, he became a bitch slave on day one. He took over the prison on day two. Day three, he got let out on good behavior. <laughs> it was an eventful three days. Alright, uh, it's your turn, right? Ah, uh, sure, I don't know. I don't uh... But Mario, <laughs> yeah, that will never fit. <laughs> Just it's pretty vague. Yeah, that's good. Luigi cried. <laughs> All right. Maybe if we put more in it, it, it seems like it does better when we when we give it more. Yeah, give it specific stuff. Luigi pulled the plug out of the water, took a swig from his cup, and put it away again to try again in a few minutes. <laughs> well, what is that supposed to... Wondering if the magic remained. The magic. He pulled the plug out again and tried again for what felt like the hundredth time. Luigi tried again, again, again. <laughs> and again and again, and then he closed his eyes and put the plug back in. It stayed that way for several minutes, but in the afternoon when the sun came up and the clouds passed over town, a single strand of red light began to dance and dance. I'm getting this, Luigi said, <laughs> grabbing the top of Mario's hat. I think I'm going to die now. <laughs> he looked up and saw that Mario was still smiling at him, and he pulled his hat back and let Luigi go down the steps and down the stairs alone. By the time Luigi had gotten out of the... The bath. <laughs> that was some surreal shit. What like it, came, it started off kind of sexual, but then it went into like it's like a slasher flick, and Luigi's going in alone. He's trying to he's trying to put the plug back in and pull it out and drink from a cup. I don't think this is the biggest plumbing job we've ever had, Mario. I don't know if we'll come out alive. So, so his, uh, I think I'm going to die now. Is basically just me during a really bad shift at my work. <laughs> Okay, I, I I could dig it. Yeah. Uh. Or he thought like he was actually gonna drown because it was that bad. <sighs> Mario, you stay up here. I'll go. <laughs> Remember, bro. You're the one to carry the family legacy or whatever the fuck. Uh. The the legions of hell. Thought that uh, they were winning after they beat the Doom Slayer. Unfortunately, 
They did not contend with the legendary afterlife's ace in the hole, Kenpachi Zaraki. The ultimate reality. Main article, Kenpachi Zaraki. In 1996, the team used their ability to beat, defeat both the Doom Slayer and another member of the Eternal Flame, as well as several humans. They managed to steal from the... the steal the black magic gene so they could transform into their legendary form. One. <laughs> oh, that, hey, there's a footnote. Uh... <laughs> the team also began to receive a greater number of communications from the Eternal Flame. Nominal ones included an official communication from the Eternal Flame telling them that Kenpachi Zaraki and the team's ultimate objective is to obtain the Holy Grail, claiming it would help them in bringing the war to an end. However, another communication said this team would be going on tour all around Britannica. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what what <laughs> alternate universe Wikipedia article? Sure. <laughs> That was weird. Oh, because I didn't include any quotes. All oh. hail Britannia! Oh, who's gonna say that? Oh, f <laughs> There we go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh, fuck, this is gonna be one hell of a job. Kenpachi sighed. He knew he'd be able to take them out, but only if Yachiru got down and allowed him to rampage. When she wouldn't let him, he would just have to kill them all. She was trying to... Yachiru was trying to figure out which route would be most suitable for her to take. <laughs> that, that's the character. She'd have to have both the wind and rain to stop it, but she also couldn't let both of them get in the way. The only reason one of them could get in the way was if she had a really stupid idea. <laughs> Are those code names, or...? Hey now, you said Yachiru had a dumb idea. What's this stupid idea of yours? You said Yachiru... Oh no, she's talking in third person. Oh, okay. Why is it lowercase? I don't know. It's, it's, I guess that... Sure, that's Yachiru. What's this stupid idea of yours? I really... A really stupid idea, Yachiru. We're going after your mama right now. <laughs> it was one of those. It was just one of those stupid ideas that only a young person would think of. Let me guess. My mama gets angry when I call out for help. Is probably it, though. It's probably not, Yachiru. Well, that made fuck all sense. <laughs> I guess adding Britannia in there kind of fucked with it. Britannia. <laughs> I'm guessing that it sourced it from some Code Geass fanfics. Maybe? And, and... I don't know. <laughs> Brilliant. Fuck. This will do brilliantly for my research. Chrome said. <laughs> Just watch. They're gonna refer to Google Chrome stuff. Yeah. Google Chrome tech documents. Kurome said. There we go. <laughs> is, that, is that gonna be any better? Maybe it'll like bring up a Ranma character. Let's try to let's try to be explicit. Let's see if we can tease it into the right uh, references. The monster lord would surely be impressed with her latest findings. <laughs> it could even impress the hero Luca. <laughs> or even Goddess Ilias. <laughs> Alternate universe or before the war. Alright, let's check it out. What's gonna happen? Oh. God damn it. We, uh, we, cars. I don't see any JoJo characters. I can't f finish this fucking... As if she was waiting for this, the two came over at the same time. Ilias, Ilias or, and Luca, or, 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 and what? entered a classroom that seemed identical in appearance to the, ro the room Karome had originally <laughs> what entered. The fuck? Karome had made up her mind. She looked back over at Lilith and saw her looking down at something that looked like a small ball of paper. 
What could it be? She was confused. She did not speak. The only sound that entered her head was the sound of light falling down the floor. What? S silence, you mean? With a sigh, she started to walk towards the door of the building again. She was about to open it when she heard a loud crashing sound, and there were three kids in a class in front of her. From their expressions alone, she could tell they were scared. Yukino, why? Yukino? It, Who? It just, is it just like generating random Japanese names? Maybe, t maybe just replace uh, Chrome A with Chrome. And they see got Lilith, right? And see if that changes. But Firefox wasn't having it. <laughs> oh, I hope so. Be... I suppose. Uh, a Weiss. Weiss? From Ruby? <laughs> okay, she's here. She's talking to Chrome. They teamed up. They're going to end the Grim Menace. I suppose it would be great, but we know that she's a woman, so maybe she wasn't looking for anyone on the streets to impress. <laughs> what the fuck? It was clear that she had a bit of a plan in mind. Uh, we'll, f we'll find her and she'll be grateful, and then we'll find her way back home to our family for sure. Oh. Weiss laughed, thinking, it's hard to say how well she could go. She could easily be mistaken when it comes to the girl she was so proud of. She did wonder why Luca's relationship with Weiss, the older girl, was so tense. <laughs> what? Alternate? But oh, the no! boy must truly be Alice, the I'm here. sorry! After the group finished getting food and drink together, they returned to their villa. A nice and quiet house. Isn't Weiss rich? <laughs> Maybe it's a rich villa, villa. sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think Weiss is rich, so, so Luca's going to hang out at her so villa. So Chrome opened up a portal to Rubyverse, caught Luca with it, and Luca managed to get with Weiss. I guess so. You know, it's fine being in a universe where not everything wants to fuck you. I'm okay with uh, people trying to kill me. Now, how, do, how does Chrome get along with Blair? Is that her name? The, bla the Blake. black representative? Blake. Blake. <laughs> black Because rep she no, represents she, the color black. She represents cut girls. Yeah. The entire black family. Uh. Oh. Uh. Uh. How about you do yours, and I'll I'll. I'll... <laughs> for. <laughs> you got something on the. Sp I can't be. Okay. Go okay. For uh, it. Let me. Uh. I'm trying to think. What are some Rhapsody of Fire quotes? Uh. No time to think about black geometry. Hey, can we just can we just type in like the intro to Unholy Warcry? Do it. <laughs> just copy. It was a good time for all the creatures of the earth, but fate decreed that the dark prophecy of a demon knight could bring a tragic end to this peace, scarring their lives forever. Only one person could cross the dark lands surrounding Hargor. Capitalize that shit. Obviously. And venture forth deep into the caves of Darkunor. His is a name the world will never forget. He is Dargor. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad you knew the second half, because I, I only know the first part, actually. This was the last hurrah of the Knights of Hargor. Oh, they're Knights of Hargor now! <laughs> the Knights of Hargor! After that, the only thing they could count on were their best warriors and the occasional dragon. <laughs> occasional dragon! Those were their legends. For his last stand, he fought for freedom at the very center of the universe! Yeah, that's epic as fuck! His name will now be the legend of all the dragons for whom Hargor stood. I want, I want this to be so much more... To put everything in proper order. I don't want to say it's too bad to have the adventure as a whole in chronological order, but rather... Oh, <laughs> so I just imagine he finished it, and then fucking uh, uh, Chris, Christopher Lee was like, I wanted this to be so much more. Yeah. <laughs> it just splits into an interview with, uh, with the people who worked on it. <laughs> we try putting that in again? Sure. Darkor! As long as you're with me, everything will be better. It's okay, Speedwagon. Dargor, our hero from the first game, will now join for. Well, no, he was the, he was uh, the yeah, second. Yeah, from the Emerald arc. Sword. 
He was a, he was a character. He was the well, yeah, but he that was the warrior of ice. Will now join forces with a few other young men to try to defeat the demonic knight, once considered one of Dark Hunor's deadliest enemies. <laughs> the deadliest enemy of the cave of Dark Hunor. The battle must be waged in earnest. Each monster he encounters will prove to be a deadly challenge. As as the players take part in the battle, they will be tasked with collecting and combining several different objects to defeat your enemies. Object, not weapons, not Dar like potions, objects. So it, it's a big variety. Dargor's mission is complete. No, I was Here's the new trailer. <laughs> you, you remember the intro to, to Metal Gear Solid where they go and they try to recruit Snake? I'm just picturing like a bunch of SEAL teams going into Dargor's cave and you just see this demon knight just sitting there with a bunch of lasers. It's like, you need you to finish this mission, Dargor. Yeah? You need you to infiltrate uh, Dark Hunor or destroy Metal Gear. I mean, that's pretty much how it happened, though. They went to get Dargor and he's just sitting in his, like, hermit cave and he's like, <laughs> I'm done with this. No more adventure for me. We need... <laughs> the world needs you, Dargor! <laughs> this is Dargor! Captain, can you hear me? Dargor of Hargor. Dargor of Hargor. Let's try, let's try some different song lyrics. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took a midnight train going anywhere. Just to see. Gonna, just a small, just a small, small town boy, boy born born to South Detroit. Is it just gonna just spit out the lyrics? Just, just a poor city kid, and she lived in a small town. With no power, little help, food, or clothing. Just a poor city kid, and she lived in a small town. It's just repeated it twice. <laughs> it's mentioning that because it's talking about Detroit. <laughs> it just it just spit out a Hong Kong translation and and repeated it. Google <laughs> find some fucking synonyms. Uh, uh hmm. What other so uh Uh do you know any do you know any like what what are some good uh give me a length of Ailstorm lyrics. Uh, when I come back from a mighty quest, I have no time for sleep or rest. I head to a tavern for a drink and get so drunk I cannot think a witch by hold his on, my hold side. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. A witch by my side and a drug and a, a jug, jug of, of mead. mead. These are the things that I most need. So I sit back and sing this song and drink and party all night long. Then, uh, then shred the accordion. Or the bagpipe. Shreds accordion. Ha <laughs> I like that. I wonder what it'll... I think you misspelled accordion. I don't think so. It's, uh, giving me... It's giving red text, so that'll be interesting. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Does that mean, is that a no? I guess it's one C. No, it's not. Is that the, really the correct spelling? Seems to be. Well, let's try it again. Oh, there we go. Alright, where are all the traffic lights? job <laughs> my father did such a great love for me it seems he only wanted the house and me i live with the rich father in a handsome city i thought no one would ever love me again but here again my son comes and the love gets even sweeter there is only one way left for him to me he went his own way but the father of this old woman here she is very beautiful and always had a place for him if i ever came home to him and she were my husband. Her eyes were always blue, and the scent of roses was so very pleasant. Oh, I loved my husband very much! But, but, 
but my heart never felt it on the the bunch. Alestorm, get on it. <laughs> it's weird because I picture that that's how that is, and then you get that uh, that chorus where everyone's like going, <laughs> and then this guy's like talking softly and, and this with this, and then that's when he's like, "Oh, I love my husband." <laughs> So if you put in song lyrics, you get spat back out song lyrics, it seems. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, oh. Uh, what, what quote? What are some most legend? <laughs> High above the muck, muck castle made of clouds, there's it's Wonder Boy sitting on oh so proud. Are you just making this up? No, this is the Wonder Boy by Tenacious, to set, Tenacious D. Oh, okay. Except, what is he doing above all of our skies? And what is he doing above all the clouds? Wonder, Wonder touch. touch is the answer. Wonder Touch. Click. Beep. It, power. Fighters. It's, it's Wonder Boy. He's the god and man that brought me here today. And he's in here. Wonder, Wonder Boy, the god and man that brought me here. What's you to turn him off? God damn it, what's he doing here? He's supposed to be all over. <laughs> It's just, it's like a, a, a teleplay. The power comes to life! And you'll all be killed! Refreshment of power. Power! Oh, you think I'm gonna lose count? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> That's how it ends. Well, it wasn't song lyrics. It was very interesting. It was, it was like a... a... I guess maybe Tenacious D is too obscure. Okay. Uh... Going to Kahlua. Drop their pants. God damn it. No. Uh, Looked longingly into each other's eyes. Leorio sat between them and went, Okay, hasn't this, has this gone too far? You can stop doing that now. They ignored him. Leorio sweat dropped. And said, okay, if you guys are going to keep doing this, I'm going to go back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah, hormones, they just, puberty is, they just kicked me right in the fucking nuts. <laughs> okay, that's fine. He and Gone laughed at the conversation he could see Leorio and Gone had about him watching and being in the hotel. What? But Gone and Karapika ignored him. They watched Leorio and Gone exchange a few final nods with their eyes to each other as the three of them walked away. <laughs> the group's destination was the hotel that was the only remaining place of protection for the kids back in the apartment. Just go outside and check on the Riku point. <laughs> Riku and Sora's like, what the fuck's taking him so long? I, I, I guess he's like, he's like angsty Kahlua. <laughs> Why can't we leave them at home or in the back or something? They didn't have the right to have him stay by their... Their... Keyblades? Sure. <laughs> so, so this turned into a Kingdom Hearts crossover. Nappa! Where the hell are we now? <laughs> oh, God. Where are they? Vegeta. All around them were little black shadow creatures. <laughs> and in the middle of it all was some punk ass pretty boy shouting about friendship and holding a giant duck. Key. <laughs> Flanked by a dog and a duck. I don't know, Vegeta, but it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, how's this gonna go? Click. It, it's struggling. Napa, stop this crap! Vegeta called out in his anger. 
And so the little boy began to laugh. Then he stopped as if he was about to be run over. The The little girl, who was too busy laughing to notice Nappa's presence, turned to him with her mouth agape. Oh, what's that? Nappa thought for a moment. The key. He turned to see who gave it to him. So he gave him a keyblade? I said stop! Nappa exclaimed. The little girl said nothing as as they slowly stood up and walked towards the back of the room. Suddenly, everything changed. The girl's eyes widened and shocked at seeing them. They, they were, were Vegeta's. Vegeta. Nappa well, was still not sure what to think of Kyrie being is the... Nappa's secret daughter. Nappa was still not <laughs> sure what to think of being a Keyblade Master. <laughs> Nappa's like, what? Hey, Vegeta, she has your eyes. <laughs> hey, Trunks, guess what? You, you're a, you got a half-sibling. <laughs> that explains why uh, Kyrie continued to eat large portions at dinner. Yeah. Kyrie, why are you so strong? Oh, no reason. A pirate sh- <laughs> Oh. Some weird sheep thing. Oh, so this is, uh, this is, uh, before Water 7. Yeah, sure. King of the Pirates. <laughs> I, I like this. I wonder where this is going to go. Wait! Vegeta called back. What do you mean, wait? Is it me or am I dreaming? Uh, wait, no, who, who's talking? What, what do you mean? <laughs> Nappa answered with a frown. <laughs> it's really you, is it? <laughs> Huh? He mused again. I know that giant thing that looks like a sheep, isn't it? The king of the pirates. I feel like I'm looking through him. I... We need to tell the whole world, the <laughs> pirates shouted again. Nappa was trying his hardest to understand who the heck was in front of him. <laughs> Nappa went on for another hour before Vegeta asked, What do you mean by what you're thinking about? <laughs> Are they stoned? I think you don't like me at all, Vegeta declared. I don't hate you for who and what you are, Nappa. (laughs) Who and what you are? How about if we're a bunch of monkeys? (laughs) If only he said that before he executed him on, on Earth. It's like, I don't hate you for who and what you are, Nappa. Vaporize. It was Great Galaxy, singular. Oh, singular? Okay. Yeah. Oh, are you gonna add Son of a Namek at some point as well, or attempt to? <laughs> I wish, I wish Vegeta did more of that kind of, like, weird swearing, because, you know, he grew up, like, outside of, of Earth for a so while. From, he is from space. <laughs> yes. He's come to space. Son of a... <laughs> You're... That's a perfect beginning. Vegeta acquires space Tourette's. As Goku returned to Earth after the war... The war... <laughs> you know, the war! The Frieza War, obviously. Nap and the other warriors came back to Vegeta... Oh, it survived! The sun, the planet, or me? <laughs> yes. He was pleased to know that Vegeta didn't need him as long as he was... He here to defend Earth. While Nappa was happy for Vegeta, he knew that this peace will only get worse. <laughs> the peace will get worse! What is that supposed to mean? Like, like, the peace... Some of us liked that economy, Vegeta! <laughs> Some of us liked the war economy! How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? Sometime into the series, a group of a group of Earth super warriors gathered. Vegeta was on the outside of every group of Frieza's loyalties they were in contact with. Uh, one, of, one of them had an arm extended over him, and Vegeta was the only one who could resist them. The, the reason for it was due to the fact that Vegeta got angry after having his arm turned from a spear. From a spear? Oh, yeah, his arm turned back. He's like, I like that spear. I liked that spear arm. <laughs> I agree, Vegeta. It was pretty cool. So, and this, Vegeta was like a proxy soldier? Like, fight in, in Frieza's proxy wars? I, I guess, sure. He was on the- he was a mercenary that, uh, Vegeta's- that Frieza's mercenaries hired. Sure. He was a subcontractor of a subcontractor. Yeah, great. 
Oh my. Like the, yeah, it's pretty, pretty warm in here. Yeah. Woo. That's why I got this. Uh, oh, I got it. Okay. <laughs> Frieza looked around his ship, barking orders at his subordinates. Quote, you maggots. If you were any less incompetent, I would kill you on the spot. Any more incompetence? Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Uh, end quote. Uh, Frieza walked away. Suddenly, a cardboard box uh, was overturned, revealing underneath it the legendary soldier, Solid Snake. And we'll see where it goes from there. Da da da. Da da. The two men had gotten into a disagreement over some personal <laughs> matters. You don't understand. You don't understand, Frieza. We need to fight the Patriots. And the box revealed that there had been a slight misunderstanding. <laughs> Snake had grabbed a small metal pipe and was threatening Frieza. <laughs> Who had already used you know a grappling what? hook to pull him to the ground. You know what? Considering Solid Snake's track record with, like, beating super powerful people, I can buy him fighting Frieza in, like, a Metal Gear Solid game. His fists had been raised, and he was trying to force a hole into the ship's hull. <laughs> Wait! Who? However, before he could, Shinosuke stepped what? in. Shinosuke? Sanosuke? Shinosuke held an unknown metal pipe by its side while Frieza held a large metal bottle. <laughs> Wait! This is, this is just the equivalent of like a drunken brawl. Shinosuke, what did you say just now? It's because you're a coward. Do you have any ideas of how hard I'm working? Like Shin-Chan? <laughs> Who the fuck is Shinosuke? I, is this, it's is just this random a, Japanese name, I guess. But there's no Jap- What the fuck? Hold on, I'm I gonna mean, look it, this it up. is a Japanese name. Uh, Shino. All right, who is Shinosuke? Just like Google it and see who the first. Uh, yeah, the Shin Chan dude. With. This guy. Okay, Shinos so Shinosuke so is Shinos his full name. So it's a, a battle between so uh, Solid Snake and Frieza and Shinos and Yo! Shin Chan just just inputs him, inserts himself into the matters. Okay. Foggy? Right. Where are you, little buddy? Vegeta was very confused about <laughs> the new Frieza <laughs> army recruit. Oh, they recruited Mobians. That's even better. And you know what? I, 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 and, and despite having the power of Saiyans, uh, Frieza doesn't hate them like Saiyans, because because uh, because they actually resemble animals. It's like, well, yeah, you're obviously a hedgehog. I can't make fun of you. That that just make me feel stupid. <laughs> they freak me the fuck out. They freak me the fuck out. <laughs> oh, this guy, this guy, this gonna generate gratuitous swearing now. Yeah. Hey, how long have you been? Have you guys been getting along? Nappa asked. Vegeta sighed. The last time we fought, Nappa's army took Wait. all my planets on fire. <laughs> took all my. Okay, I don't know what's funnier: the fact that Nappa like fought that he fought against Nappa's army, and Nappa's just like, yeah, how was it? Or just, just like they took my planets on fire. The Saiyan side. Which one? Which? Uh. Well, well so since he's been dead, he's been asleep. Okay. I'll tell him a few more of the rules I've told him in the past. <laughs> Who are you and why are you doing this? Vegeta asked the guy. Everyone froze as Zamasu <laughs> stepped forward. Well then, you're fucked. What are you doing, Goku? <laughs> the second <laughs> yelled. <laughs> they were like, that was looking at Zamasu. A few Zamasu. Doesn't realize he's Zamasu. He's like, hey, Goku, what's up? The Saiyan yelled before so, being hit by a punch <laughs> from Vegeta. I Vegeta, why? <laughs> Goku stood there for a moment watching as the guy in front of him was attacked by several of Nappa's army. Nap My army betrayed me, Vegeta. Nappa's, Nappa's army started charging Nappa's guns to block them Guys. as Goku started to fall behind <laughs> Nappa. <laughs> 
fight are you all on? I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Do we, wait, that 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 kind of escalated very fucking quickly because it was just everyone's <laughs> betraying everyone else, and no one knows who's Napa or who Napa's army is working for because it's not Napa. You just go up to a guy, you say, "Hey, I'm from Napa's army." They'll kill you on the spot because they can't trust you. They'll kill the guy to the left of him because he can't trust them either. Yeah, don't <laughs> trust anybody. Oh, you got any wrestling ones you want to put up? I was just about to think of that. We got uh, we got the Golden Lovers. We got the Hardy Brothers. Hardy Boys. Uh, the Young Bucks. Uh, all right, I got it. I don't speak English. <laughs> Vegeta was very confused as this as this Japanese dude was offering him a DVD. Present for you, Yato Toru said as he was waving the the DVD of Chaos Party Quiz Six in Wait, front of what's his name? Uh, Tono. Y a n o t y a n o. Yeah, T o u r, Toru. Sorry, to not Tor. Tor Toru. Yeah. He said as uh, yeah, Yato Toru said as he waved around Chaos Party Quiz Six. In front of him. Chaos DVD, please open! He, uh, he said, shoving the DVD into Vegeta's face. As he opens the DVD, Yano Toru hits, uh, the underside of it, causing the powder to fly into his eyes. Of a Namek. There we go. All right. Let's see how. Let's... Did you really need to add the the ink? I guess so. Well, yeah, because because that, that's how he said it. Oh no, Capture Y. All right, let's try that again. Try remove it. Try it again. No, that's fine. I just I didn't see. Ah. No, no, no! Come on, son of a Saiyan! Son of a Saiyan! Son of a Saiyan! They arrived in Son of a Namek. <laughs> the home world of the Great Saiyans! <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to name this? Ah, I still like the Son of a Namek! Alright, we're naming the Son of a Namek. Vegeta looked at his surroundings like he was a strange, empty shell and sighed at his friends watched from him. Vegeta saw a girl who he was supposed to have met, but now he had a friend. Uh, first one's here, Yano Ch Yano Chan. So, so Yano Toru is just chilling with the Z Fighters as they go to a planet which was re named Son of a Namek. Gohan bellowed. Vegeta heard Yano calling him. Yano watched him as Vegeta and Gohan went on. Vegeta watched as Yano Toru's breath caught and his eyes widened as he sensed Okada coming to kick his ass for abandoning <laughs> chaos. The DVD didn't really come into play in that one. No. You want to try again? Uh, sure. Let's try that again. Screamed the evil-looking man in black with a mouthful of black powder and an indescribable rage. What is he, is he fighting a demon all of a sudden? The man slammed another box onto the table, causing a flurry of dust and steam and knocking the DVD out of the man's hands. The man ran away laughing as Vegeta felt laughing after him. <laughs> Vegeta ran out of the room. Only to find you Yito Torus. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, his, br his brother from Osaka. Y Yano and Yito. Yito and Yano. Which Yano Toru had already gone back home. After checking on Yito a few times, he eventually came back with a towel. He when Yito told him he was going to do something with Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. One more time. Yeah, we we need one one final good one. Uh who who, who could we use? What's a legendary like rant? A legendary rant? Yeah, like like a rant. Uh the the the, the Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Donkey Kong Country is truly perfect. If you do not buy 
this piece of rare video game history, or this piece of legendary video game history. I gotta, hold on, let me look it up. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll bullshit something in the meantime, I guess. Alright. We'll do this one, and then just keep it on your phone, and we'll uh, we'll put we'll go through it afterwards. Hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. You are stupid. Well, hold on, hold on. Just pause it. We're not there yet. All right. You've activated my. Tr Less than impressed. In fact, you look mildly turned off. <laughs> You've activated my trap card, Yugi cried. Pegasus was less than impressed. In fact, he looked mildly turned on. Oh, Yugi boy, don't say that or you'll get me all hot and bothered. Joey was very uncomfortable watching this transpire. This was bad. The rest of the team was also tense. Pegasus would have found any way he could to keep him from being upset. But that was not possible. Suddenly, <laughs> Yugi noticed something new. Pegasus was wearing jeans and a shirt of his own. <laughs> Wait! The whole team was now very familiar with Pegasus and how he appeared. He had his hands up just like Yugi would. Just like the way Yugi wanted to tell Pegasus he needed to give up on Yugi so the team could give him the last thing he wanted. The other Tra trainers were Tra all looking like this. Trainers? Oh, so not only is it the team like from <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, but also Ash and like, his group are there. And, and his friend Hector. Hector turned from the group. He Hector! With his attention focusing on a few students. Now, if I may! <laughs> Wait! So this guy, this guy called Hector brought in a few students, is he also watching this transpire? <laughs> so I mean, I, f fuck if I know, maybe Hector's from a later Yu-Gi-Oh season. <laughs> Hector, Yu-Gi-Oh Hector. Well, keep what, keep your thing up so we can type it in. The, uh, the Donkey Kong. Alright, That's gonna go. be our last one. You ready? Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Alright. It's insulting, but it's also the truth. If you are a true video game fan. Okay. Not hesitate a to bit. Buy a bit to buy this uh, piece of video game history. <laughs> Alright, is this. How's the rest of it gonna go? <laughs> Take it. That concludes this quick review. Though oh, one thing is for sure, this was an incredible game. Is this? This isn't just the transcript, is it? I, I don't know. This was an incredible game. If you're a fan of either the classic Donkey Kong platformers, or or you've never been able to get your hands on DK Country, then this is probably going to hit the spot what? perfectly. What? What? Talking about DK Country. There have been a handful of gaming platforms in the past year, and a half that made the jump that Donkey Kong Country made. And there are a few that have not. Just takes a few players being willing to drop down to the level of the original. The fact that the game is available for all to play from the... Wait, but you were talking about Donkey Kong Country! Just, you know, in case you forgot, we were talking about Donkey Kong Country. But, but you're talking, oh, but if you don't like Donkey Kong Country, then get... Sonic Shuffle is fast! <laughs> Do it! Sonic the Hedgehog Madness. <laughs> what? Your your move, Talk to Transformer. I love Sonic Shuffle. I love this Sonic. <laughs> the new Genesis edition of Sonic Shuffle adds to the Sonic legacy of retro gaming. 
is a complete Sonic the Hedgehog collection without the games! <laughs> they put out so many collections, now they're just putting them out without any games in them. If you haven't seen it, it's a massive collection of games. Wait, what? <laughs> Includes everything from Sonic 1 and 2, 2 and 3, Sonic, Sonic Colors, Colors, Sonic, Sonic Dash, Dash, Classic Classics, <laughs> Sonic Colors 2, <laughs> Sonic Heroes, and Sonic Colors Whoa! 3. Two of those aren't even out yet! It adds new games every four <laughs> years or so to the lineup of original games, excluding games like Sonic Generations that's and Sonic so Lost World. Oh, wow, that's very specific. The Genesis version of Sonic, Sonic Shuffle. <laughs> we went back in time. We, we regressed the technology. Yeah, that Mario Party's rip off of Sonic Shuffle. We changed yeah. the timeline. Eat that. Has a, how, what, who did Mario Party? The, the bees guy, Hudson. <laughs> okay, replace video game uh, with anime. <laughs> Uh, wait, Sonic <laughs> Shuffle the anime? No, no, just re replace it with anime. Uh, anime is no, no, truly no, perfect. No, no, the, the, replace the Sonic, the video game, you know, true video game pan and video game history, you replace those with anime. Okay, just with still Sonic Shuffle. No, but I'm gonna add something new. I just want the context to be the same. Just... Uh... Alright, what, what... Sword for Truth is truly perfect! <laughs> That's a bad one. <laughs> a generation of uh, etchy Oops. madness. Sure. <laughs> it's I mean it's not etchy, but who fucking cares? <laughs> Might as well be. There's a there's a scene in it in which the one woman uh a, like gives another woman opium through her vagina. So was that did that happen? Yeah. Was that the one with the uh, the woman had a tattoo of another woman eating babies on <laughs> yes! her back? Yes, that's the one. That was the one. <laughs> that's that movie was fucking it's. I know it's insulting, but it's also the truth. The sword for truth. Yes, I know it's insulting, but it's also the truth. The, the anime has been re-edited for the most part. Re Thank God. Every frame comes with its own special effect. <laughs> for the most important sequences of the show, such as those during the opening theme. In the middle of the dance scene. The da and the, the climactic climax. The climactic. I'm not allowed to confirm or deny what the music of the final sequence will be. <laughs> what? Of course, not only... There's always room for improvement, but this animation has already been shown several times, and I think it's fair to say that it is truly masterful. This guy seems to be, like, kind of out of time. Like, like he, he doesn't know... Like, whether or not it's, he's talking about a preview or a review or... This is someone who's, like, never watched anything ever. They only have read books their entire lives, <laughs> and they're doing this review. <laughs> Just totally bullshitting. You got any anime you want to add? Oh, uh, what's something really shitty that we've seen? Uh, or, or played, I guess. Seen. Hmm. Like, Sonic Shuffle we already got for games. Uh, we gotta do something that we we've seen. What, what was something we started and we couldn't finish? I don't, I don't think we've ever, like, dropped out of something, except, like, uh, I mean, there's some been some animes like Boogie Pop. Or, oh, we only uh, watch. But that's, that's, that's just boring. The Mario Brothers movie? We, we did. We, 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 did fin we did finish that. Uh, we never, we got, like, five minutes in the food fight. You said this is painful, and we just stopped. We did stop food fight. Do people know what that is? Like people in the in like movie uh, circles. <laughs> All right, fine. Let's do it. Uh, family friendly. <laughs> I I want to see what the what it does now because you put content. Don't look this up, good kids. Uh, you will not hesitate a bit to buy this remarkable piece of hentai history. If you do not, read on for the best of the of that genre. It's really quite entertaining, and does a great job of giving you what an what all anime fans of an abundance of different genres crave. Shoda? <laughs> Let's get started! The Plot. setting is the year 2043. A new race has become known as the Boku-sama. The race was founded by a, the powerful woman named Akane. Oh no! 
Bard, she said, an ordinary young woman. Once upon a time, she was an ordinary young woman. The but race, then... The race is the new age of humanity. Time when peace shall be possible. In the past, the races have been fighting a constant war against each other. And there are no good candidates for the throne of Earth. Well, there never was one. <laughs> <laughs> in the past the rivals have been fighting a constant war against each other and there are no good candidates for the title of, of tendo dojo <laughs> oh man <laughs> okay that true final last one. Oh. Whoops. oh ronma generation ronma is true ronma it's not gonna it's not gonna read this right but whatever if this amazing new generation of harem madness. I guess it counts as a harem anime, kinda, sorta. You are a true anime. This remarkable piece of uh, Rumi Takahashi history. <laughs> if you can't tell, we're being ironic. But if you're another fan of the anime, a bit too obsessed with this character as a character is not to have invested so much time you have no reason for purchasing this wonderful package. However, for anyone else who would rather save their time and invest another another great anime, Ranma and One Half is for them in equal measure. You have yet to see a more beautiful anime than Ranma. You poor soul. Popples, buns, and more. Ranma and One Half, it seems, has already given us our favorite character of all time. <laughs> yeah, the panda! <laughs> so it leaves us with two options. The second one is to get excited and decide that despite everything, I'm going to buy a 3D printed figurine of... <laughs> oh, the panda! You can't tell me that it's not the panda! Again, my best panda. panda. Did, did that have stuff in it? No. <laughs> You got like a salad today? Or is that a sandwich That's box? A sandwich. That was from a, a few days ago. Alright. Well, uh, we should probably we should probably call it, right? One, one more. One more? <laughs> we need a better one to finish on? Uh, we replace the whole thing or we keep going with this uh, formula? We replace uh, anime stuff with movies. Okay. Uh, Just tell me the thing and I'll go through, through it. The Emoji Movie! Perfect. The Emoji Movie is truly perfect. Like no not, one ever. This is just Mad Libs. <laughs> no, it's great. It's Mad Libs, but uh, it's us. Ma it's our Mad Libs, and then the computer uh, follows along with the. If you do not get this amazing new generation of uh, of marketing madness, of corporate sanctioned madness, marketing or corporate sanctioned, corporate sanctioned. You are stupid. Yes, I know it's insulting, but it's also the truth. If you are a true emoji fan, yeah, you will not hesitate a bit to buy this remarkable piece of capitalism history. Of capitalist history. All right. If you love, love your, your child, child. Oh, wow. or if you're into pop culture and you just can't help but think emoji are a little weird, the movies are for you. Emoji Movie Review, directed by Joe Cornish. Written, written by, by Mark <laughs> Hamill. <laughs> Fuck no, it's not written by Mark Hamill. Starring. Wait, oh, so they're talking about the... the so do, do, in this alternate universe of Emoji Movie, Joe Cornish uh, directed it. Whoever that is, Mark Hamill wrote it. And it stars Liam Hemsworth, Jason... S Sudeikis. John jo Goodman. Hey, they brought they resurrected him. Is he the new Pope? Is he dead? I don't think so. Uh, wait, oh, Mark Ruffo, he was the Hulk from, uh, the Marvel movies. Oh, yeah? And Andy Samberg, of, uh, of, I believe of Lonely Island fame. Yeah, so let's try another, see if it gives us an actual, like, like text. Okay. One, the Angry Birds move, wait, there's a list now? There's an old saying about movies, they never die. It goes like this, you can make a movie, but it will never live. <laughs> What? This sentiment applies here as well. Angry Birds just released with a trailer, and the movie will not die. <laughs> it is on its way to opening weekend, and I can promise you it'll, it'll, it will win any Oscars nominations it will garner from its fans. <laughs> the movie will be the number one grossing film of 2014 in theaters nationwide. I know that sounds stupid, but I will tell you, that number can change. <laughs> Get well, that, that's, not the, that's not the Emoji movie. That's a different... The main message of the video 
is, is that Angry Birds will continue to be a huge hit. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> what? Wait, what? What the fuck does one have to do with the other? Talk about the Emoji Movie. Talk about the Emoji We are! More! I recommend spending as little money as possible on it. <laughs> Yeah, that's... $3, $5, $10, and whatever you have left as you wait for the release of this film. That's it. <laughs> well, all right. The Emoji Movie. Spend as little money as possible on it. That's, uh, that's something you, this uh, should tell you. is uh, You should rather watch Angry Birds because it is... It's less like, oh, is it a good movie? I, I don't know. I just know that it'll continue being successful. Was, it, was there actually an Angry Birds movie? There was, yeah. Okay, I I, I... I... Nobody's ever talked about it. I forgot because it was, a, it was like a Rooster Teeth bit on YouTube. Was the Angry Birds movie trailer. And then it became an actual thing. Yeah, they did an actual Angry Birds movie years later after, you know, they were just making a fucking joke about it because it's a mobile game. <laughs> and then, yep, nope, we're doing it. All right. <laughs> That's Talk to Transformer, the unofficial fanfic generator, as I'm calling it. <laughs> it's pretty good, honestly. It, it, it had some hits. It had some good ones. If we get, well, if we come up with ideas to ask it, and we come up with enough of it to write down and stuff, maybe we'll do another stream of it. Yeah, wait, it's, maybe it's, we do some, like, uh, some pre-planning. But we got, I'll have to go go back. It was like an hour long. Go back and clip some of those or something. <laughs> those, some of those were really good. Uh, stick around if you're here. We're going to swap over to uh, Smash Brothers. And we're going to do a little bit of that. Show off some stages and such. Yep. And uh, so, uh, hopefully, hopefully be fine. Be right back. <laughs>